Welcome, welcome. We're live in the hive. Back in another edition of Brains and Beauty with the beautiful Sheena Monet. I'm your host, Michael Bingham. Sheena Simone. Sheena Simone. You see how that go? We live in the hive. I told y'all. No, nah, we live in the hive. Look, I got Sheena Simone. Somebody um, else calls me that too. And she every time she and I've done, I've done so many shows with mm -hmm. her. Maybe I should change my name to Sheena Sheena Monet. No, I, all, no, no, no. no, all jokes aside, that may be another, like, a.k.a. Monica, like, another side piece. Yeah. But, you know, we, we're here right now live in the hive with, with Sheena Simone. I'm all a right? Gemini, so that might work. Oh. That might be a different personality. You, you know Gemini what? <laughs> I mess with Gemini's hard. I'm a Pisces. Okay. So I understand the bipolarism that y'all possess. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, straight like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, all jokes aside, my best friend, my cousin, rest in peace, he was a Gemini. Okay. His mother, who was like my mother, uh, she was also a Gemini, rest in peace. So I mess with Gemini's hard, you know. Okay. I understand y'all dichotomy. We're actually pretty cool. Like, people who meet me, they're like, you're not the typical. I just know how to control the other side. Like, you just... You know, it takes a lot for me to get angry and upset, but once I do, it's like you deserve it because you pulled it you out forget, of me. Forget, yeah, it's like, and it's um, when I say a lot, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. lot. Yeah. So that means that you've matured. Yeah, I've always kind of just controlled that side. Anyway. Oh, well, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad. That's thing. a good thing because I had to mature, you know. So, anyways. Uh, we just wanted to go ahead and just create a platform and an ambiance of liberty. So we're just going to have some casual conversations here on the comfy couch. I'm going to expose how we actually, normally the reason I came up with this segment and it's, it, the reason it's called uh, Brains and Beauty is because most people only look at the surface and they only focus on what we can see and usually it's with lustful intent. Right. So since i have a lot of female friends and i listen to you know the conversations that y'all have and the privyness and <laughs> the confines of y'all you know and it be it be heavy sometimes and hey this is for all of the men and we got to do better you feel what i'm saying we need so do. we need more accountability and that's the reason i have all these beautiful women out here so y'all can see ambition is something that's admirable and it's more than meets the eye man y'all gotta got quit looking at the exterior and start looking within so that's why we got the brains and beauty because you don't want somebody that you just oh she's beautiful she's this way but has nothing up here, no content you know, whatsoever. And, and unfortunately, there's a lot of people, um, you know, due to social media with TikTok, with um, yeah. Instagram and things like that, you have a lot of people that are just only relying on their looks. And, you know, it's, yeah, that's sad. it's unfortunate. Yeah. But I had the opportunity because I'm always... Um, trying to make the most of my time on social media. So if I'm not putting the word of God out there, um, I try to make sure that my followers and the people I'm following are substantiating or ambitious or that I can learn from them. And when I do see your posts, your stories and things of that nature, they're always entertaining and enlightening. I just want to pull you in on the couch and talk to you. So, you know, it's easy to slide on somebody DM and have a private conversation. But I feel like, you know, this is a platform for us to be able to have a conversation so other people can join in. Like, you know, I like I, I mess with her. Yes. I get that. So quick question. What actually made you come up with the persona? Sheena Simone uh <laughs> honestly it was just I was playing with the name um I came out as an individual artist and at the time when I did come out I had a manager and we were going back and forth and, the, and I was like Sheena just it's just too plain I and Simone is my middle name I've always hated it no offense to the people <laughs> the Simones out there, but I have always disliked it because when my mom called me Sheena Simone it was like um, cause I was, I did something. Yeah, yeah, that's a <laughs> Which I really got in trouble. I'm, I'm <laughs> um, so one day I was just sitting down and I, I was like, Sheena Simone, and it just it flowed so well. And I was like, okay, I can tolerate that, especially as it being my artist name. And that's how. I, and I hit my manager up. I was like, what do you think about this? And she said, yeah. And then in hindsight, retrospect, I was thinking of, um, I was like, man, Nina Simone is one of my favorite artists. And I don't know if that was just in the back of my head, mm. but. Her name flows as well. That is yeah. such a, not I want to say coincidence, because I don't believe in coincidence, but right. it's a, a, a great um, story 
line. You know what I'm saying? I say, oh, that's a that's a conversation piece right there. You know what I'm saying? Like for you to have a connection with Nina Simone as her being your favorite artist, and then you finding yourself with your middle name, that's your legal name, not just a moniker that you right. came up. That's that's dope there, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, yeah, I thought I thought you actually played off of Nina Simone just because it was cool. No. Well, yeah. No, that, that's my actual government name. Spelt, spelt differently than hers, but yeah. So with Sheena Simone, once you and your manager had the conversation, um, how long you, were you actually doing your your music before you actually had this conversation and decided to, to step out and enhance the persona of just Sheena? Uh, I had just basically started. She she actually, um, she's not my manager anymore. Okay. Um, she told me, you know, there's only so far she can take me before it because she has her own, own stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but before that, and I that's just very kinda, professional of her too to let you know that. Yeah. 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 Um, before that, I mean, I just had, you know, I had my band for about three years. Um, life kind of happened. I tell the story all the time. Um, so Pam right there. Yes. What was the name of your band? Smokey and the Angels. Sorry, I had to crack that because I'm looking this way. <laughs> stiff, y'all. I'm like, I'm, like, ah. I'm a chiropractic assistant, so it come down to Oh, snap. Oh, man. So you know what this is? Not what you know all the time. Sometimes it's who you know. Yeah. So boom. Okay, so back to what your, your band. My bad. Go ahead. <laughs> they were called Smokey and the Angels. Smokey and the Angels. Yes. There so, were seven of us. I had three girls. Three women, sorry, not girls. Mm -hmm. Three men, women, and the rest were guys. The um, instrumentalists. So, were you the the one that conjured up the group? Yes. What happened before that was I was with a trio um, called Smokey and the Angels. There, it was myself, another female singer, and a guitar player. Okay. And we kind of we had made us a, a name for ourselves. We used to play out at McDill Base, Air Force Base, um, you know, little places around here. And those two fell in love and moved off. <laughs> Donna and Rod. Like, hey, <laughs> I miss you, you guys. You know what it reminded me of when you said that? Uh, for some reason, Lion King popped in my head. When I can see what's happening. Oh, hey. They don't have a clue. Yeah. They'll fall in love. And here's the bottom line. Yeah, the, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they told me enough time. And I just, at that point, I had, I was like, well, let me see what it would be like to have my own band, see if I can do this and pull it off. And I asked them for the name because, like I said, we already had some some progress going around town, um, and they didn't have any issue with that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll always be grateful for that. And yeah, that's how that speaks volumes. My full band about. came about. Yeah. You know. So after you created the band, you got their consent to roll with the name, et cetera, et cetera. How long did you have the band before you decided to go to the solo, or was that the final, the next journey? I never really. I never really looked at myself as a solo artist. People have always approached me about it, mm -hmm. but um, to answer your question, three years. It was three years. With the band? With the band, yes. Okay. Um, and I was just like, I was one of those people, you know, you hear stories about people in bands and, nah, that's not gonna be my band because I'm, I'm positive and we're gonna be all <laughs> family and stuff. And yeah. it was great up until the end. You know, some stuff happens, discord yeah. happens, um, but yeah. So, and I think that's, that's, it's sad to say it's unfortunate that sometimes the people that start the journey with you yeah. don't always finish with you, but they mm -hmm. contribute to the process ultimately of who you are. It's no different than Destiny's Child of Temptations, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the girls, I, women, I keep saying girls. I, it's a habit. Um, my idea for them with this band was everybody kind of wants the same lead, so there was not... It wasn't, even though I ran the band, I was not, I never wanted to be that, like, the, the fourth. The big chief and the, yeah. Yeah, the head honcho. So I tried to make it even, you know, each one of us saying lead, we always backed each other up, and that's how it went. Got you. And I think that's in life, sometimes it's like the left leg, right leg. Sometimes one leads and one follows, and the other time the other leads and the other follows. Right. You know, so it's good to have that harmony. Yes. Um, it's unfortunate that, you know, the band had to come to a culmination, but... Yeah. Um, from there, tell us about the journey of Sheena Simone. Okay, uh, there's no shame in me telling this story. Um, if people follow me, they know a little. I don't talk about it a lot, but if you see my video, Demons, it kind of started there. Um, so about three, you know, after the band, um, I got into a relationship. Mm -hmm. I end up, you know, having a baby, mm -hmm. lost the baby. 
well, not having the baby, but I ended up having a miscarriage. So on top of just life, um, you know, I've always kind of fought the demons of suicide and things like that, and it resurfaced. And try not to be a crybaby. No, no. <laughs> it's not, but it's real, yeah, and that's why I yeah. talk about it. That's why I put that in this this video. Um, it's triggering for mm -hmm. some people, but mm -hmm. it's also helped people out. Um, so I got to the point where I didn't want to be here anymore, and thankfully I have my small tribe of people that mm -hmm. kept me together. They were there for me every step of the way. Came by and they were like, "Oh, you're not you're not answering the door. Don't my cousin." I'm gonna call the police <laughs> you know people just showing up so mm. they really helped me pull it out and uh, once I got to you know got back to my senses mm. and realized that I'm here for a reason I wake up every day for a reason um, I put that into my music mm. I decided you know what people have told me you know for a reason that I should be an individual artist and I wholeheartedly believe that music is therapeutic yes, yes. Um, it has healing powers yes. tones sounds um, eventually when I slow down I'm gonna go back to school for music therapy. Mm. I have my degree mm. in music technology. But anyway, that's how it started. Um, just kind so of like that. So stop right there. I'm going to pin on that. Yeah. Um, I think that, A, <clears throat> and the, the age of COVID, when we have so many masks, that it's refreshing to sit and converse with someone who's transparent. So yes. I, I want to thank you for that. Because that's what it's about is, you know, we overcome our adversary by the words of our confession and our testimony and sometimes yeah. we only want to talk about the highlight reels and right. you know in a cold world you need to have hope and I, my acronym for hope is help one person every day yeah. and you That's know good. when you help one person even if it's just through you know an inspirational meme or blog or quote you never know what what you might say to that might inspire someone from jumping right. off the bridge or doing something, you know, going and shooting up a building or whatever it may be, yeah. you know. So for you to come in and share with the world and to, to, to put it into in a form of art because art does imitate life, yeah. I think that, you know, um, not only is it therapeutic, but it's triumphant in its own right, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, aside from the music and your, your support system, um, what was it that, that as far as your faith base, do you have a certain faith base or was it, did you resort to some other um, substance or other thing to keep you, uh, to allow you to escape, so to speak? Um, definitely no substances. Okay. Um, I don't know, I just, right now I kind of, I grew up in the church mm -hmm. heavily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have strayed away from that, I'm mm -hmm. not even gonna lie. Yeah. So I consider myself more of a spiritual person. Boom. Um, yeah, and no, the universe and I, or whoever, whatever. I know there's something higher than us here. What? But as far as the confines of religion, you've escaped that. Yeah. I got yeah, it. For sure. I mean, been there, done that. I was ordained in it, grew up in it, yeah. saw <laughs> the hypocrisy, cynicalism, the bondage, and I was like, eh. Yeah. So when you it's understand the relationship, it's good to have that as well, you know? Yeah. So now, from that aspect and that journey, where are we at now with Sheena? Uh, Sheena is busy. <laughs> <laughs> Business you know, good. It is. It's you know good. I'm very, I'm very thankful. Um, it's just been, I feel like, in such a short journey for myself. Um, and I question, sometimes when I question myself, the universe, that's what I like to call whatever it is. Because that's what it is. Yeah. The universe is like, oh yeah, you don't believe me? Well, here you go. Here's this, here's that. So I'm very thankful for all my experiences. And I feel like in just such a short journey so much stuff has happened to me that I don't think typically happens to an artist just coming out. I mean I've had um, radio airplay out in South Carolina for my first single Hire. They've been rocking with me. They've, rock, they've played Sapiosexual. I've had... Mm. Um, that's my jam right there because I'm a sapiosexual. Could you? Know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to ride it because I'm like, man, look, I get looked at like a piece of meat by women all the time. <laughs> so I understand how it is to just be like, I'm like man, come yeah, on. Yeah, so it's because it's, it's, it's the person can look and be good so on the shallow. Out. Yes, and that's such a turn off. It's like, ugh. For real? No, 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 no. Like, uh -huh. really? That's all you got? Like, ass and titties, everybody got that. You see the eggplants and all. Come the, on. I don't even get. It's not even the eggplants. Yeah. You get full on pictures. I'm like, bro. Oh. <laughs> we're still doing. <laughs> Hey, like, okay. hey, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you just gotta just. I get 
throw it out there just be like, eh. but <laughs> no, I get that because you know we all we're human. We yeah. all have needs, and but sometimes I'm just like, if I have not dealt with you in that exactly. manner, exactly. They are, they don't all look the same, but it's just yeah. like yeah. From what once you see one, it's like eh, it eh. does nothing for me. Yeah. Like, yeah, especially when you're sapiosexual or demisexual, something of that nature. Yeah. You so what made you know what sapiosexual? I really, I can't remember. My producer sent me this track and it initially was called um, Make Love To Me. And I just sat down and what, you just know, what kind of, yeah, whatever happens. Because like within the first couple of seconds of a track, it doesn't take 18. me long. If, it, if I come up with a hook first or yeah. a lyric, then I just go from there. And I was like, I'm going to change the name of that. And, I, you know. All of my music, of course, is about who I am as a person. And I was like, let me share this with the world. And that's that's kind of how it came about. So Sapiosexual was what, the first single or? Second, my second single. Okay. My first single, my very first single was called Higher. I brought that out in 20, that came out in 2019? 20, yeah, 2019. So last year I came out with three tr uh, three tracks. Consumption was the first one featuring my friend Nikolai. Okay. Um, second one was Sapiosexual, and the third one was Demons. Mm. Now, of those three, because I do want to show and share, you know, some of your music, and then we're gonna also um, put the links at the bottom or behind or wherever you're gonna find her information, um, so that way you can check her out, you know, follow her on social media, etc. But I do want to show you know, one of your projects, which would you prefer? The consumption, the sapiosexual, or the uh, Well, consumption does not have a video for it, okay. so it's a choice between sapiosexual and demons. Your choice, which one? Uh, I don't know. I like them both. Um, since I'm in the mode of like, not healing people, Demons. Yes. We're going to roll demons. I already knew what time it was. I just wanted her to <laughs> say it because, <laughs> yeah, hey, so look, y'all y'all pause for the calls. Don't go nowhere. We're going to roll the clip. Y'all check out Demons uh, starring Shanae Manon. Uh, I mean, Shanae. <laughs> it's so fired. I'm uh, sorry. Fired. You Sheena Simone. There Sheena Simone. Y'all, it's on it's on the fly, we live. I have that behind. effect on people. No, I'm joking. She do, man. Look <laughs> at her, look, but all jokes aside, look at her. You feel Thank me? You. She's Thank gorgeous. You. She got brand, she's talented. Hey, but like everybody, man, you never know because just because somebody, everything that glitters ain't gold and everything that look good ain't good for you. Right. Check out, make sure you put that inner light so you can expose them demons. We roll, right? How many demons do you have? The ones that consume your mind, body, and spirit. Will you run from them? Will you roll over and die? Can you escape the madness that resides in your cerebral cortex? Free yourself from the demons, from the demons, from the demons.
empty inside. 